In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add an audio player for your music, podcasts, or whatever it is to uh, your page using the Divi Builder for the Divi theme uh, by Elegant Themes. Now, I've got a page here, which is my home page, and we're going to add in a section here for width, and we're going to add in an audio player. So when you add in this module, it's simply called audio, and there's nothing super fancy about how it sort of works, but it is pretty effective at what you can do with it. So we have our audio player here. At the moment, it's a bit hard to read. The first thing I need to do, I'm just gonna sort of go down this page and show you what we can do, and then we can sort of customize things as we go. First thing is we wanna give this a title. At the moment, it's a bit hard to see, so I'm gonna quickly skip ahead, just change the background to black. So we're gonna give this a title. So your title goes here. Let's just say, latest podcast episode number one. Now I don't have a podcast, so I'm just gonna be uploading a generic file. Artist name might be uh, Creator Impact. Uh, album could be Wade McMaster. So if it was music, obviously you could have that there, but I'm just gonna put Creator Impact Wade McMaster because it doesn't really matter uh, what this is labeled. If you're happy with the way that is, um, you know, you can just have that there. Or you can even leave that blank and have Featuring. Something like that. Uh, you don't always have to follow the stringent format they give you. You can work a little creatively if you want. And the next po most important thing obviously is the audio. We do need to upload a file. So if we have a media library, we can choose that. I don't have any files, so I have to go to upload here or there's actually already something here. So I'm gonna select files. I have some royalty free music here up from YouTube. I'm just gonna pop one of those up here. So now we have our audio file. I've inserted it and we'll watch it load and see how it appears. So you can see we have this basic timer here like that. Now, one thing we can do is add an image to go with it, kind of like a, an image to a company, like could be an album cover, a photo of some sort. So we're gonna pick an image we think suits, maybe something uh, relatively square even. So let's even just grab this logo, this pivot logo. And it's a bit big, maybe we'll choose something else. Let's go for let's go for the camera image. Oh, oh no, let's go for this image here. So this is our music player so far. We have an image at the top. We have our our like title, our name, and we can start playing the music at any time. And of course, if we want to, we can add a link module. Uh, we can even and this is where you can start to get interesting. Is where you can change the background. So if I want to. I can actually have a background image on the player itself. So if I choose something a little more subtle, like maybe this uh, sand texture I've used before, although maybe it's a bit full on, so I'm gonna get a background mask or a pattern, add a background pattern. Uh, we've got polka dots, we've got all sorts in here. Let's just say we've got this here. The pattern color can be black and we might just invert it so a little bit of that comes through. So yeah, we can play around with what we've got in regard to, uh, you know, our pattern. We can make it more subtle and we can even add like a, if we want to, add a gradient. So it looks like, make that black up here. We'll also make that black, but semi-transparent. I'm going to add over the image. So we've got this effect in the background. So you can play around the background a little bit and try something. The other thing you can do too is if you want to reset it all completely, uh, remove the gradient. We can just add a background image. It's already faded and subtle, something like this. So you can get a bit creative with it, add as much color as you want. Could be some records in the background. And you got a pretty nifty, if I zoom out a little bit, a pretty nifty player. Now we're going back to desktop here. So what you can see, if I just tack this on here, is, take this for now, we have a player which has an image to the left with our design off to the right with the image player, uh, sorry, the audio player. And if we go to tablet, it becomes stacked like this. And same with phone, become stacked and we have our module there with our play button, etc. So it's starting to look pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do is actually go into design and play around a little bit. Uh, now one thing you might notice, 
I've had some trouble with this in the past, is that this little timer here tends to disappear. I do believe there is some CSS you can add, which is unfortunately the only thing I thought of coming up with. I'm just gonna X out of that. I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder quickly. And what I'm gonna do is add in some custom code. So I'm actually just gonna to go to the Theme Customizer, Additional CSS, and I'm just gonna add in some code here. which makes the counter visible. So if you want to see what that is, it is .mejs time. And if you want to copy this code, I'll pop it in the description below. Uh, so you can copy that onto your uh, Divi additional CSS and fix up that text. And you should be able to move the image by saying margin dash top, I believe. Move it up and down by adjusting the margin. Um, so you can get things a bit better. I don't know why it does that in Divi, but I will pop that code below so you can copy it. So I'm going to publish and that has fixed that little timer issue there. And we're going to go back into the video now and enable the visual builder. Okay, so we're back in and we're going to hover over this module. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and just pin this to the side. And we're going to go into our design tab. Now the image. We can round the corners, as you can see here, so I can give the image rounded corners if I want to. I can go as far as, say, 500 even and create a circle if I want to do something like that. And even I can undo, add a border if I want to, just to the image. So you can play around with the actual styling of the image itself pretty easily. The text, of course, alignment. You can have it left aligned if you want to, right aligned, the usual bits and pieces. And of course, you can add shadows, uh, change the font as you would before. Uh, at the moment, the shadow color was gonna leave as black. And the title text, we can make it this weird green color if we want to. So you've got all of these options here to style the colors and look. Now, if you also wanna change the titles, the title text, just forget, uh, as per usual, you can go in and choose a completely different font if you want to do things a little differently. Um, so you've got some options to get that looking the way you want, uh, just as usual, pretty much. Now the caption text, which is the text underneath here, I can make that green if I want to. Um, I can do other colors and add a text shadow to that. Pretty much everything you see here, which is the text the um, and everything else can be edited. now. Getting into editing these buttons here, not quite as easy. You will have to use some CSS for that, I do believe. As I believe there are like sliders. So you can actually have a background color. So a little bit of CSS goes a long way with this. So I can make that pure white or I can make it red using CSS if I want to do that. That's under player sliders if you're looking to style that. Otherwise, it's pretty much down to text and uh, you know the images. But considering what you have here, I do believe the best thing you can do is actually play with the background uh, image and add the image in here to get the best results. But that is the quick, short way, quick and easy way to add in an audio player. And I've just popped out to the public view. so. As you can see, it looks the way we want it. It looks pretty good. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to set up. Um, and we can bring this in and change that layout a bit. Now remember to keep checking the uh, little timer there. It can be a bit problematic, but um, that's all good. This is just a, a test for now. Remember to pop in that code to get it looking the way you want. Otherwise, that's pretty much the video for today. It's a pretty straightforward module to work with, pretty easy. Uh, a little bit of uh, Photoshop work, a bit of design work with your imagery can make a huge difference to how it looks. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty classy looking module uh, and does a great job, especially if you've got a podcast. All you need to do is go in every so often and edit that and uh, you're good to go. Or, uh, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And um, if you want more videos like this, can also check out our channel. I've got a ton of Divi videos and a playlist below in the description if you want to check that out. Otherwise, have a great day and I uh, hope to see you again soon.